This is really not something I expected. I definitely feel like 10 year old Liz in this. Should I climb a tree? I think I'm gonna do it. I was still so worried about fitting in and wearing clothes that fit in doesn't fix that mindset. It's weird, it's striking. It makes me think about kids who have to go through that experience. I think my clothing preferences have changed a little more than I thought they did. Hi friends, I watch a lot of personal style content and a point I see over and over again in such content is to consider the clothing and style you loved as a kid because that will often be what really speaks to you, what's true to you, what connects with your soul. So this week, I'm putting that to the test. Every day, I am going to try to put together an outfit that aligns as closely as possible with my style preferences as a kid and wear that outfit all day. To prepare for this little project, I have sourced and poured over a multitude of photos of me as a child and I try to specifically find ones where I'm wearing something that I distinctly remember loving as a kid. You will probably not be surprised to hear that I have always been very particular about my clothing. And if I was forced to wear something I hated, that's, uh, that's staying with me for the rest of my life. Kid Me had a very strong sense of what she was comfortable wearing. I can't wait to spend this week seeing how I've grown since then, what I still love, maybe what doesn't work for me now, and overall investigating how dressing in my childhood style will make me feel as an adult. Good morning, it's Monday, and right now I have to get dressed and decide how I'm going to honor little me with my outfit today. I've looked through so many pictures and I've realized my childhood clothing preferences kind of fall into a few different categories. One, sporty sort of skatery tomboy. Two, coconut girl. Three, funky wonky little t-shirts. Four, fancy historical baby. Five, casual 90s chic, even though it was the 2000s by this point, I was wearing a lot of hand-me-downs. And six, add a little sparkle. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try to take inspiration from a different sort of style category each day throughout this week. For today, I wanna channel this sort of tomboy look. This involved a lot of layered t-shirts or fake layered t-shirts that were actually just one shirt, sneakers, cargo pants. And honestly, I was not a frequent wearer of backwards baseball caps, but I have these pictures from a family vacation in which I am wearing my baseball cap backwards and I just remember feeling so darn cool. So I'm trying to channel all these styles with what I have in my wardrobe, which might be a little tricky. But for today, I have cargo pants, the backwards baseball cap. For sneakers, I have my very beat up plain white ones. And then the shirt is actually kind of the trickiest part. It's gonna be quite warm today. A short sleeve t-shirt layered over a long sleeve t-shirt might be kind of hot, but I really loved that layered look. My other option is this tank top, which I also just really want to incorporate this week because I literally bought it because it reminded me of a tank top I had and loved as a child. We'll see. I'm gonna go get started putting this on and then I'll show you the finished look. All right, we've got the cargo pants, we've got the baseball cap, and then on top, I just really wanted that layered t-shirt look. So the best I could do was use this higher neck tank top underneath here, and then layer this t-shirt that has just like a slightly wider neckline. I also hated tucking in my shirts as a kid. I uh, had to for my school uniform, and that made me not want to. So we're gonna go untucked. I think Kid Me totally would have worn this. Obviously, current me would wear it because I own all the things. I wouldn't probably normally put them together Together in such a casual, mask-leaning, tomboyish way now. And I also think I would normally accessorize more. This feels so blank because there's no jewelry or accessories or anything, but that's, that's how I was as a kid. Overall, I feel a little more out of my usual box than I expected to, but I do like it. So I'm ready to go about my day and I'm excited to report back later how this outfit has uh, made me feel. I just spent some time drawing one of my favorite childhood activities and still now, although as an adult, it's gotten away from me a little bit. So I really enjoyed that. And now there's actually an eclipse happening today. So I'm off to try to view it, hopefully get some safety glasses. This is kind of last minute, so I hope it works out.
Hi y'all, I'm back from my eclipse viewing. It's actually later in the day. And I just wanted to chat a little bit about what it was like to wear this outfit throughout the day. Honestly, going into this little like week experiment, I thought I was gonna feel totally at ease and comfortable. I was like, this is gonna be me rediscovering all the true cores of my style. But I'm actually realizing, at least based on this outfit, I think my clothing preferences have changed a little more than I thought they did. Maybe it's that I wouldn't have worn this entire outfit together as a kid in the first place, I really combined a lot of the tomboyish styles together. Maybe normally I would have had just one, but the point is I felt a little less comfy and myself in this outfit than I expected to. I went to go watch the eclipse with my boyfriend and some of our friends and I felt the urge to like explain myself and my outfit and be like, I'm wearing this today because I'm doing this video. I wouldn't be wearing it otherwise. And once I was there, I didn't ultimately end up feeling the need to explain it, but like the compulsion was there in my brain. Honestly, I think the main thing was the backwards baseball cap and I kind of like it, but I don't know if I, I feel like kind of like a poser or just like I'm trying too hard to look cool when I wear a backwards baseball cap. If I had had the hat forwards, this would have felt like a hundred percent me super comfy outfit, but simply turning it around made the whole thing feel a little different. The thing I liked most is actually the like super subtle layering of the t-shirt and the tank top. I think it's like a really cool casual but still interesting touch that just like adds a little more dimension to the outfit. It's been very interesting to see what things about this feel like me and what doesn't. I'm very intrigued to see where tomorrow takes us. Good morning, don't mind my wet hair. It is time to get dressed for the day. And today is going to be the warmest weather of the week. So of course we are drawing our outfit inspo for the day from my coconut girl era. This feels so funny to me because you know, my little title is obviously inspired by a much more recent aesthetic category of the past couple years, the coconut girl aesthetic. But that style is 100% based on this style that was so popular in the 2000s. I mean, two of these shirts literally have the word coconut on them. This is definitely a lot of what I wore throughout the summer as a kid. Vibrantly colored tops with some sort of tropical motif on them, a palm tree, a hibiscus flower, maybe a butterfly. And usually these tops were more fitted as opposed to yesterday's baggy look. On the bottom, I wore a lot of colorful shorts or little skirts and I loved my platform sandals. I actually had another pair of like hot pink platform flip-flops with sequins on them that I remember being so obsessed with and I couldn't find a picture of them, but just trust that I loved my little platform sandals. So for today's outfit, I do have my platform sandals. I have this simple little skirt and on top, tragically, I do not have a single tank top with a tropical motif on it. I even tried to thrift one in advance of this video and I couldn't find any. So instead, the best I can do is this green tank top. It's still a vibrant color. It's still more fitted, not baggy. And of course I wouldn't have worn cutouts like this as a child, uh, but I did really like a keyhole neckline. I think this green tank top in this picture actually has a neckline like that. So I think this is the closest I can get. This is the best top I have that will honor the spirit of the style. I'm also gonna add some jewelry because while I was not allowed to have my ears pierced yet when I was wearing these, I definitely wanted to have them pierced. And once I got them pierced, I was wearing these simple little studs every single day, as was everyone else. These were as ubiquitous at that time as like a simple gold hoop is now. I was also a big summer camp kid and I loved the bracelet making at camp. I was kind of a beast at them, if you can believe it. So of course we gotta get some string bracelets into this look. And yes, of course I still have some. All right. Here's the outfit on. My first thought is, wow, I'm a lot paler right now than I was as a kid in summertime who spent all her time running around outside. My second thought is that this reads very differently on an adult woman's body than on a, a little 10 year old's body. Like I would still wear this, I think, but it does feel like a, a little much to me with the platforms and the mini skirt and the little fitted tank top. I feel different in this now than I did as, as a little child, obviously. I just wish we had a tropical motif in here somewhere. I think I'm going to add some of these little hair clips. I actually didn't really wear hair clips like this as a kid. I was more aware of these style of barrettes, but I, I wore hair clips and obviously these fit the era, they fit the vibe and they'll bring in a flower, which just feels necessary. This feels more like it to me. I don't know if this necessarily makes it closer to something I would have worn as a child, but I feel like it communicates the vibe better. I also did add the little earrings. And then while I was putting these on, I actually found 
this necklace that I got at Girl Scout camp as like a nine-year-old and I have held on to for some reason until now, but I thought it kind of went perfectly with this and it is literally from my childhood. I feel cute in this. I'm excited to go about my day and sort of see, see how it goes. Okay, so I'm about to leave the house and it's actually not quite that warm out yet. And you know, as a kid, I always had an extra layer because my mom always made me bring one. But I also wasn't that concerned with like layering fashionably. So my extra layer was always just like a hoodie. So I think I have to wear the zip up hoodie on top of this outfit. Anything else would be inaccurate to my child self. It feels like a little ridiculous, but at the same time, like, it's kind of a 2000s vibe, you know? We'll see how it goes. I'm finished thrifting. I spent so long in there. Every time I go thrifting, I feel like I just like accidentally black out and spend three hours in the store. But I did have some success, including for an item I really wanted for later in this video. I'm sweatshirtless now because it, it it's hot out and I'm feeling pretty good. At first I felt a little awkward wearing this outfit in the thrift store. Cause again, I don't know, a platform shoe and a mini skirt just feels a little more like statement making than I would normally go. But honestly, I did kind of get over it and forget what I was wearing pretty quickly. And also this was pretty ideal for trying stuff on. Hello, it's the end of the day. It's time for my day two reflection. Honestly, I think my biggest takeaway today was noticing how different certain clothes feel on my body and how people in the world are going to perceive me as an adult versus as a kid. Like I said, this outfit felt like a little much to me. And by a little much, I didn't mean like this is silly or dumb or girls shouldn't wear stuff like this. I support doing too much with your outfit. I think what I really meant by this outfit felt like a lot is just that it felt like an outfit that I knew would make people look at me. I guess I often dress in outfits where I know people are gonna be looking at me, but not looking at my body. This outfit felt like I knew people were gonna look at my body and especially men and Lucky for me as a child, that is not something I was thinking about at all. That is not something anyone put onto me and it's not something I ever encountered. I know not all girls are that lucky. A lot of kids who are just being kids are not treated like kids as much as I was because of how their bodies look, which which is fucked up, obviously. I'm only experiencing it as an adult and I still don't really like it. This is really not something I expected to like bump up against at all in this week. and. I don't know, it's weird, it's striking. It makes me think about kids who have to go through that experience of the discomfort of their body being visible. And the context played a role too. Like I don't think this would feel the same if it were July because it feels more like you have a reason to be dressed this way. But dressing more revealingly when it's not super hot, it feels like people are gonna think that you're dressing more revealingly because you want them to look at your body. Even though there's any number of reasons to wear an outfit like this, and this isn't even that revealing. So that was an interesting and unexpected side effect of this outfit. I do like the outfit. I think it's cute. I would love to live in a world where I don't feel weird wearing this running errands, but today I kind of did. Ultimately, I don't want this to come off super dramatic. Like I was like so uncomfortable all day because it, it was fine. <laughs> but that was the main sort of experience that stuck out to me while I was wearing this. So I wanted to share it. Good morning. It's time to get dressed. Today, it's gonna be warm. I'm hoping to hang out outdoors. And that is the perfect occasion for a funky wonky little t-shirt. This outfit was an absolute staple of my early childhood. I do think my mom was probably dressing me for a lot of these outfits, but I also distinctly remember some of these little t-shirts and how much I loved wearing them. Kind of colorful, 
graphic tee, but also quite understated at the same time. And they were always thick and 100% cotton. They just had an utterly superior vibe about them. As you can see, they were usually paired with some baggy jean shorts. Incredible vibes on these as well. Unfortunately, I did not have any baggy jorts. And listen, I have many good t-shirts, but I did not have the t-shirt, you know? But then I went thrifting and I found the perfect items. We have this t-shirt and these jorts. First, the t-shirt. It's got that sturdy cotton feel of all my favorite childhood t-shirts. The perfect subdued graphic. It says fruits and then underneath it, it says candy upside down. I don't know what that means or if it means anything. This is perfect. The shorts, yes, they're denim cargo shorts. Yes, they have an elastic waistband. I think I own literally these exact shorts as a child and I love them. I mean, the elastic waist like isn't the most ideal in how it looks, but for me, it's not a deal breaker and it is so comfortable. We really need to end the elastic waist stigma because honestly, it just makes living your life so much easier. Obviously, I'm very stoked about these pieces. They fit the brief perfectly. They resonate deeply with my soul. Let's just go put them on. I mean, I feel like my five-year-old self in the best way possible. I love this. In a lot of those pictures, I was like on camping trips with my family and that's what it reminds me of. To complete the look, a low ponytail is essential. Low pony middle part was sort of my go-to um, hairstyle of choice. Yeah. The vibes are there. I definitely had shoes similar to this as a kid. We'll go with these. Yeah, this is perfect. I feel great. I feel free. I feel like it's time to go play outside. I would also totally wear this now. I think I would probably wear it with some jewelry and like a cute tote bag, but kid me, she wasn't worried about accessorizing. She was worried about having fun, playing, climbing trees, sitting in the grass. I'm very excited to channel that energy today. Let's get outdoors. Woohoo! I can't wait. Y'all, I am next to the most delightful little bubbling river right now. And I'm so glad I wore sandals today because that means I can dip my little feet in the water. One thing Kid Me was gonna do is go outside barefoot. Oh, oh it's very cold. Oh my gosh, but it's very refreshing. I'm having such a pleasant time out here and my outfit has been very conducive to really embracing the nature. I kind of want to climb a tree right now. Should I climb a tree? I think I'm going to do it. Goodbye river. It's tree climbing time. Okay, the tricky part is now we do have to find a climbable tree. This one seems like a contender. It has potential. Let's try it. That's so fun. Found some cool rocks, found some cool shells. This is thrilling. I honestly feel like doing this whole little experiment, making this video, wearing this outfit has kind of emboldened and empowered me to embrace my childhood sense of curiosity and adventure and wonder and fun more than I normally ever do. And I feel like it genuinely like enriched my life today to embrace that playful childlike part of myself and I don't know, just have fun exploring. These are my cool rocks and shells. I'm not going to keep all that, but they're pretty to look at. All right, it's much later in the day. I'm back home and it's time for a little reflection. The like sense of fun and freedom and playfulness that this outfit gave me is kind of what I thought every day would be like. And that hasn't quite been the case so far, but yeah, I love this. I felt great in it. And I think it's my favorite because it actually is the most aligned with exactly what I wore as a kid. The first outfit was sort of like a combination of different traits that I wore in my outfits 
that all sort of went together, but I never actually wore them all together. The second outfit was also sort of an approximation that wasn't quite spot on. They got the point across, they were the best I could do, but I don't think it's a coincidence that my favorite outfit is the one that is actually the most accurate. I think that speaks to the consistency of my preferences and my style over time. Something else I've been realizing throughout this week so far is that Kid Me was very particular about clothing, specific pieces of clothing, but not about outfits. I wasn't styling outfits, I was simply wearing clothes, which I think is the case for most kids. And I didn't really expect like the lack of styling and layering to make me feel a little uncomfortable this week. It really is my comfort zone to have multiple different pieces and layers together and accessories or jewelry being stripped of all of those things is making me realize that's probably the biggest difference between how I dressed as a kid and how I dress now is that now I actually get to style my clothes and that's something I really enjoy doing but it's also kind of fun to be freed of that and just free of like the pressure to be stylish and to style oneself and to instead just like exist in my clothes. That's something I've kind of enjoyed especially today. Good morning friends, it's time to get dressed and today's look is Fancy historical baby. This style mainly consists of big frilly collars, bows, plaid dresses, maybe even a coat with a cape and a matching hat. This is what my mom dressed us in for holidays and other like fancy special occasions. Obviously child me was not picking out these outfits myself, but I truly remember always loving these outfits. I mean, look how happy I am here. I feel like you can tell I love that dress. When big frilly collars came back around in recent years, I loved it instantly. I love a plaid dress. Honestly, today's outfit might be the most aligned with my current style that we'll have all week. So for my outfit, I have this frilly oversized collar blouse. And then on top, we're gonna layer this neutral plaid little baby doll dress. I'm pretty sure I've literally already worn this exact outfit combination before. This time we're also gonna add a little hair ribbon. And then on the feet, we're gonna do some frilly little socks and I'm gonna do my chunky loafers. I think I even had some like chunky loafers as a child. They looked more like this, but I, I did have some. Okay, let's go get dressed. Oh my God. How cute is this? I feel so adorable. I absolutely love this. As I suspected, this also feels extremely like me and my current style. I don't feel like I'm dressing like baby Liz. I feel like I'm dressing like current Liz. And it's funny, I guess you could say a lot of the elements of this are little girlish, you know, the frilly socks, the frilly collar, the bow, but also all of those things are like very trendy again. So this also feels like very contemporarily on friend. Honestly, shout out to my mom for dressing me like this because I love this. I feel great in this. Now I have to figure out what I'm actually gonna do today. Honestly, I'm kind of behind on my work week because I was busy having fun making this video, but I can't just sit at home in this, in this cute of an outfit. No, we've got to go work somewhere in the world. This fit is kind of giving library. It's giving academia. Maybe there I can steal myself to actually get some work done. So it's the end of the day. I've really just been working on my computer all day long. And honestly, I kind of just forgot that I was wearing an outfit inspired by my childhood clothing throughout the day because this outfit is so spot on with my current style. It's also very comfortable, very loose. Overall, this outfit is like 100% successful, very spot on with what I wore as a kid and also totally something I would actually pick out for myself now. It is kind of funny that this outfit felt the most normal to me of the week. I imagine to most people, this would seem like perhaps the most out there outfit of the week. I also think it's funny that the outfit that is possibly the most reflective of like my parents' taste for me is the one that aligns the most with my current style. I do feel like um, adulthood is kind of just realizing over and over again that everything about you was shaped by your parents. All right, I guess that's it for this little reflection. <laughs> See you tomorrow. It's the end of the week. 
I already have the signature Young Liz low ponytail in and it's time to get dressed. Honestly, at this point, I have kind of run out of like distinct style categories that I actually have the clothes to recreate now. I would love to go for this sort of like ditzy floral pattern or something with a little glitter, but I do not have either of those things anywhere in my wardrobe. Unfortunately, they're going to have to be honorable mentions for the week. So I think now I just have to draw from my general childhood style and whatever pieces I do have, which is of course where this striped tank top comes back in. This is giving extremely kid me vibes. As you can see, this was very much my thing. Then on the bottom, something else that I really liked but haven't really been able to capture yet in this video is sort of a retro sporty style, especially clothes with like a little sporty stripe down the side. If only I still had this vintage hand-me-down Hollister jacket. I don't have that, but I do have these capri track pants. And I did also wear capris pretty avidly as a child. It's actually a little chillier out today. So if I do go outside, I'm gonna bring a hoodie. And I remembered I have another one besides the gray zip up. I have this quite oversized blue hoodie as well. Was I wearing the big baggy oversized look then? No, but I wore a lot of pullover hoodies. Let's put it on. I mean, I definitely feel like 10 year old Liz in this. I don't know if it's in a good way, but, but it is accurate. I didn't know how to include this hoodie. Oh, I should tie it around my waist. That's what kid me was doing. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel like I rolled up on numerous occasions wearing this exact outfit as a child. Does it feel like an outfit to me? No, but like there's nothing that feels super like off about it. It's just not an outfit. I would wear this to like hang out around the house, do chores, craft, do yard work, something like that. And I actually think that's pretty similar to how I would have felt about this as a kid. Like as a kid, if I put something like this on, it wasn't because I was trying to slay and I thought it was a good outfit. It's because I was being practical and I was probably on like a family camping trip or something. You know, it's funny because I have always been extremely particular about my clothing, especially about like fabrics and fit and comfort. But I also feel like I had an era where I was really socialized to be like fashion, caring about how you look, that's for shallow, dumb people. So I was like sort of embarrassed even though it's like it's fine to care about your clothes because it affects how you feel and also we're all socialized to care about how we look but then also socialized to think it's dumb that's a whole other video but i think this outfit is kind of speaking to that duality of being very particular but also being like i don't care how i look so we'll see how this vibe serves me throughout the day now that i'm in a little bit of a different mindset around fashion than i was as a kid I've sort of been trying to embody my inner child throughout the week by doing things that she loved, reading, drawing, crafting, spending time in nature. Kind of all my favorite hobbies to this day, but I don't get to prioritize them as much now. So I do have to do some work today on my computer, but I'm also hoping to spend some time reading the book that I tried and failed to make any dent in the other day at the park. I once again find myself at the end of the day with some reflections to share. The first thing I noticed about this outfit is that, like I mentioned earlier, this outfit is reminiscent of a phase in my life when I think I was like, I dress practically, I don't care about fashion. But actually, this outfit was less practical and comfortable than yesterday's, even though that one was much more out there and fashion. I mean, overall, obviously this is still pretty comfy, but the tank top, which is now hidden by this hoodie, actually has like a built-in shelf bra. That's also very reminiscent of being like a tween. And that could be practical for someone else, but for someone like me who does not really need a lot of support in that department, it was mostly just kind of sweaty and itchy. Similarly, Track pants, they've got an elastic waist. That's still pretty comfy, but not as comfy as a loose dress, which has no waist. The comparison between these two outfits makes it clear that what we think of as dressing for comfort or practicality instead of fashion is kind of all arbitrary, and it's really just dressing normal versus dressing 
in something more unique. Another thing I found sort of funny and interesting about this outfit is that it's like the most normie outfit ever. This is such a normal way to dress that no one will look at you twice about, and yet I felt the least comfortable and confident in myself all week in this outfit because it felt the least me. Meanwhile, yesterday, like I mentioned, it was sort of the most out there outfit and I felt the most comfortable and at ease and the most myself in it. And I feel like that would be a good lesson for kid me to hear. I mean, she learned eventually, obviously, but there was a time when kid me was very concerned with fitting in and just like looking as normal as possible. Doing something weird that would draw attention to myself was my nightmare. But was I psychologically comfortable? Did I feel at home and at ease and free in those clothes because I fit in in them? No, not at all. Those were like the most psychologically uncomfortable years of my life because I was still so worried about fitting in and wearing clothes that fit in doesn't fix that mindset, you know? This stuff had made me think about and realize that Kid Me was not always wearing exactly what she wanted. Sometimes she was wearing something that would seem normal. And that's something I'm actually very glad that my style has phased out of as I've gotten older. So... Now that I've spent a week dressing like kid me, do I think she had it all figured out? I would say not quite. I was honestly kind of surprised to see that my style had changed quite a bit more than I realized it had. That said, this week was also such an interesting and enriching experience. It gave me so many insights into what I do love to wear, what I don't love to wear, and why. It helped me reconnect with certain things I loved from childhood. Overall, it was just a very thought-provoking experience. This week was honestly so all over the place and full of so many different thoughts that it's kind of hard to wrap up. I honestly feel like I even contradicted myself from day to day, just speaking totally off the cuff and sharing whatever was occurring to me in that moment. So if some thoughts seem jumbled or half-baked, it's because they were. But I hope something in there resonated with you and maybe caused you to pause and think about your own childhood clothing preferences or memories, how those things impacted you then and now. And I would love to hear about any of those thoughts and experiences that this might have brought up for you in the comments. If you enjoyed seeing this week-long fashion experiment, I would really love to recommend and direct you to my internet controls my outfits for a week video right here. If you liked this, I think you'll like that. I have a copyright issue, so I had to take it down and re-upload it, and it kind of got buried by the algorithm. So I just want to bring it to your attention, and I hope you enjoy it if you check it out. Thanks for spending so much time with me this week. And uh, I heard if you do watch another video like this one, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Your uh, child self will appear to you in a dream and tell you they like your outfits.